Good day friends, my name is Bobby Phillips and I'm here once again from Sydney. This is part of my 365 days challenge and thank you so much for all the support. So today I'm going to introduce my son, Josh. Hello, I'm Josh. <laughs> <laughs> today he turned 21. So there are a few things that I wanted to talk to the young man out here. Okay, so he's excited and this is the first time I told him like come over to the camera and talk something. So he's along with me. So I'm quite happy that he has become a part of my uh, campaign in this challenge, you know. So he's turned 21 and what can I give to Josh? Hey, mm. what can you give me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today there are a few things that I wanted to talk to you, Josh, is this is my gift or something to you and to all the youth out there who are going through that particular stage the parents can take a note of these things there are six points that i wanted to talk to you about number one always think before you act why do i say that it's because the, the more you think about a certain point before you act there are different perspectives every time you read a book it narrates a different story so what happens is like the more you think the more you will be concrete in your decision making and you will make sure like all the negatives are dropped off or you will do all the combinations and combinations and come out with the best solution. So always think before you act. Okay. Now the second point that I wanted to make is have a good adult mentor. Why? Is because yes, I am your father and you can always ask me a lot of things. Right? You can always ask me. You can always walk up to me and say, hey, Dad, I have this issue and I need a solution. By treating you like a friend. Correct. Yeah. So, exactly. You got my point. So, you start, like, as you are getting older, so I respect you, right? So, I would rather have you as a friend and you asking me the right question rather than you going somewhere else or doing a Google to find out about you. So, when I mentioned have an adult mentor, yeah. means someone who can take you through a journey someone who's experienced someone who is experienced and lead you through that okay. because there are so, so many hurdles that is going to come across your path and always i also at this age i have learned so many things from you josh that you are a mentor you take a mentorship role time and again so i'm quite happy about it so which leads us to the next point yes yeah, is about um, never do not be a follower okay okay why never be a follower the reason is because you got to have a leadership role all right okay always take a leadership role what do you mean by a leadership role leadership role is where you can stand up to your team you can guide people okay you are bubbling with energy you're bubbling with knowledge you're learning every day okay. okay so what happens is like when you take the leadership role you got to stand up for your community you got to stand up for your team okay if the team succeeds yep. cheer them up okay there are chances that the team will not succeed okay so take that responsibility and take ownership of them at that time they should not feel that you have put them on the on the stake okay you know what you got to do is you got to take a leadership role look at the lion the, the lion is the king of the jungle you know it's not the biggest of the animals mm. but it is still the leader right yeah so what happens is like you have to have the right attitude for the leadership role mm. all right so these are the things that i want to tell you which leads us to the next point is that while you grow in stature as a leader be humble be humble have good heads on your shoulder plant your feet very rigidly on the ground okay yeah. be humble in nature help those people who need your help okay go out there and help okay. okay because it is when we have knowledge when we have an attitude what happens is like it's very easy to get swayed by it be humble in nature okay. help others people who, who needs your help yeah. all right so which takes us to the next point about humbleness humility and gratitude these are the greatest of the greatest virtues okay, okay wear it like an armor around you okay so i want my son to have all these qualities of humility, humbleness and gratitude. Always thank, don't forget all these virtues. Okay, 
which leads us to the last point that I wanted to make was that as you go or do all these things, being humble, what happens is like people start considering your humbleness to be a weakness. Okay. Right? So make sure that they don't consider your humbleness, your humility, and your gratification as a sign of weakness. Something that they could possibly Correct. Take, take advantage. Yeah, okay. Take advantage, right? So never allow that and have control on your emotions. That's the final point. Take control of your emotions. May it be your love life. May it be, may it be your family life. Okay. There's a story about the pendulum. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard about that? No, I have not. Okay. The pendulum swings from left to right. Okay. Consider the leftmost part as sadness, as gloominess. Okay. Anxiety, stress. Okay. And consider the right part of the swing as your exuberant, your very happy. So like very energetic. Very energetic. Okay. So never take decisions when you are at this stage. Like your your love life might have broken up. Okay. Or you might have achieved a fantastic job and opportunity. Never take a decision at that stage because you will regret in life. Let your emotions settle down. Come to a neutral position. From the left, it swings to the right. And after that, when it rests at the center, the neutral position, Take a decision. How do you know you're at the neutral position, bro? Your body will say, your mind will say, you, you you meditate on that. Okay. Okay. You will calm yourself down. Okay. If you feel that you are, for example, like you go to the church. Yeah. Okay. The pastor or the church, is, if you offer tree, he's a get big charismatic sermon out there, and then the offer tree box comes in. What do you say? Say like, yes, I got to give it. Mm. Right. Yeah. I, this is a live example of what I'm saying, and we dump our hundred dollars bill into that when we go back home you want to buy milk and but you don't, don't have, have that money. Okay. where did that because I'm so charged up I gave something yeah. right for example like on the negative part you are you are feeling so down and this thing and I want to send a message you have broken up yeah. in your relationship you want to pick up the call and you start talking to your partner mm. what happens is like there are certain decisions that you will take you will regret in life don't do that. Just stay calm. Wait till you're calm. Wait way. till you're calm. Okay. And sorry. And then you think about it. Okay. The first point. Think multiple times before you act. It yep. leads us to the first point. Okay. All right. This is the circle of life. This is my gift to you, my son. All right. Okay. So, Josh, if you have any issues, anything, I'm always open for you. All right. Yep. No God bless you. And and on behalf of the family members, the the um, back in India, here in Australia, and all the community out there, all my fans out there, I want to wish my son a happy 21st birthday. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Anything for uh, the world? The last 21 years, uh, it's been a ride. Uh, lots of different experiences. I'm glad that I had dad as a mentor. I am glad that I had mom there to support me as well, it's Joanna as well. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much for the wishes, everyone. Um, hope you guys have a good day, a great year ahead of you. Catch you in a bit. All right, on that note, as we always say, what? Be cool. Be cool. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. Thank you.